video, I'm going to hop right to it. I got five minutes to show you how I create a virtual rack mount. Some people call this printing to your track. Some people call it outboard gear. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. I think it's more efficient for me. I've seen some other videos on how to do it, but I think mine is more efficient. Let me know in the comments if you think mine is more efficient after watching this video. Uh, and do like, subscribe, follow. I appreciate all of the love. And I will be making more videos if you guys just support it a little bit, okay? All right. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, here we go. So first thing you're going to do, you want to make an audio track. Uh, for vocals, I use um, mono. I'm going to use mono output to stereo. Very basic. You're going to make one track. Hit create track. All right, the next thing you want to do, you want to open up your, your mix window. In order to do that, just click on this icon here. Next, you want to go down to the bottom where the audio is right here, and you want to uh, make your stereo out, send it to bus, to a bus, assign it to a bus. I'm going to assign it to bus 55, and you probably already know I'm 55. I call 55, so I'm going to use bus 55. Okay, once you do that, um, Logic's going to create a bus channel for you. Let's just go ahead and name that bus channel Outboard Gear. All right, boom. Next thing you want to do, you want to turn that from stereo, which here indicates that it's stereo, this little infinity loop here. Click on that once, boom. Next thing you want to do, you want to take this B55. You're going to assign that to input one. Now, something, something magical happens. Wow, now you have the vocals going through here. Let's just mute it out just for now. Boom, I'm going to mute it out so you can hear me, hear me clearly. Okay, so next thing you want to do here, you want to go at where it says stereo out. We're going to take that and assign that to another bus. We're going to make that bus one. Boom. So now that's bus one. It created another bus channel. Now we're not going to continue making bus channel. We're going to stop there. Pay no mind to this auxiliary two right now. We're not going to use that just for now. Not in this video. Okay. So what we, what we want to do is take this here, this outboard gear channel here in the mix window and put it here. In order to do that, we're going to go down. We're going to right click on it. We're going to hit create track. Boom. Now your outboard gear is here. Okay. Cool. Okay. The next thing you're going to do, you, you, you no longer need this audio one. You can actually delete that. For some reason, Logic Pro X just magically makes this work with all of the essence and all of the things that came with that auxiliary is here. So now if I unmute it, boom, you can see I'm still here. So this is the outboard gear. Um, I can start assigning any plugin that I want to on this particular channel. I'm just going to put a couple of plugins in, a couple of plugins that I actually use. Uh, one would be a gate, noise gate, because I usually don't want any ambient sound coming through my mic. So I'll put a gate on it. Uh, the next thing I probably would put it would be an EQ on it because my voice is quite thin. So I'll put an EQ on it. And and then more than likely, I would put a DS on it, even though I know a lot of professionals say don't DS your vocals. Um, I just put it on it slightly to stop all of the S's from coming through. There's a couple other plugins that I do use. And I do use another EQ. I use another, I use Auto-Tune, but not to get into that just yet. I want to show you basically how to make this outboard gear work. All right, so you got everything going through. This is a bus channel, believe it or not. And this bus channel got plugins, effects on it. And I'm sending this bus channel to another bus, right? So I'm sending this to bus one. So now every track that I record on that has bus one is going to have all of the plugins that I'm adding onto this. And that's pretty much how I do it. So let's go ahead and test it out, and then we'll end this video. So we're going to do new track. Okay, new track here, another mono track. Boom. And uh, I'm going to name this uh, test one, right? Hit test one. So now uh, I want to, in order for this to work, I want to assign test one to input one, right? So I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to bus, <laughs> bus one, outboard gear. That's where it's coming out of here, right? And it's going into test one, right? So let's just record it and see if it works. Let me just turn, take this mute out, and I'm going to record something, and you'll see the difference, all right? Watch this. One, two, one, two. Let's first add a little bit of EQ to it. I'm going to put a little bottom on my voice just so you can see that this does work. I sound like Dark Vader. <laughs> okay, let's try to record it that way, okay? All right, so let's hit the record button. One, two, three, I sound so big and dark because I am who I am, your father. Okay, now let's just mute that, right? I'm going to mute it so you can see that it's, uh, nothing's on it. And uh, this channel has recorded with all of the plugins on it, and it's going to print it that way. Watch this. One, two, three, I sound so big and dark because I am who I am, cool. your father. Wow. So see, that's how you do it. So I think it's more efficient to do it that way. 
uh, as opposed to some of the other ways to print. And you can put it on any track. You can put this outboard gear on any track. You just add the bus. And that's pretty much how you do it. Again, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know about Logic. I know quite a, quite a bit.